Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Lindsay from nevermorecreation17.com. I would love to have you subscribe and stay if you enjoy this video. So I have a whole bunch of things to add to the junk journal supply section in my shop. And the inspiration behind these was twofold. One, a gorgeous wallpaper book that I've been working in, and two, some vintage handkerchiefs that I purchased off of eBay. So, wow, I don't even know where to start. I think I'll start with the journal kits since that's probably why you came to this video. And then after the journal kits, if you want to see some wallpaper and extra vintage uh, supplies and things like that, you can stay tuned um, for after the journal kit share. So I have put together 12 different journal kits. They contain everything you need to make one journal, one signature journal, um, everything you need as far as like supplies. You're going to need the basic things like, you know, a needle or however you're going to sew it together. You might need scissors, glue, extra things. But as far as just the bare bones basics, if you have the basic normal craft supplies, these kits will get you going. Or of course you could take the whole kit apart like I like to do when I get a kit and kind of part it out just into your stash. I'm trying to make these really affordable so you can buy a couple of them if you want to. Um, they're gonna come in these plastic bags to keep them together. The bags are not sealed yet so I can show you the differences. I'm gonna list each one separately so you can pick. I'm not picking the one you get, you're picking the one you get. So we're gonna just Start. Each one has um, is tied up with a ribbon, so you get the ribbon to use. And then you get 20 pieces of ephemera or supplies. You get a vintage handkerchief. I bought a lot, um, a set, not a lot like many, <laughs> but I bought a set of, um, oh, I don't know how many were in there, at least 13 or more, 13 to 20 different vintage handkerchiefs that I thought you guys would really like. So each um, journal kit gets one. They're all different and you can use them to either cover another journal, you can use them to make pockets or collaging or lining something, whatever you want. So this is the handkerchief that comes with this set. Now here's the wallpaper and each set has two different coordinating wallpaper pieces that are cut to um, approximately six by nine. You can cut them smaller if you want a smaller journal. You, you can do whatever you want with them, but I wanted to give you as many options as I possibly could. They coordinate so you could have one be the um, outer cover and one the inner cover. Uh, you can, you know, glue them or use double-sided tape or sew them together for that. You could use them for two separate coordinating journals and then either just leave this wallpaper or cover this with scrapbook paper or one of the pages inside here. Um, so whatever you want to do with that, or this could be the outside, this could be the inside, this could be the outside, this could be the inside, totally up to you. So there's two coordinating sheets. So this one is bluish, bluish neutral colors. And then I have put together and pre-cut 15 pages. So when they're folded in half, that's 60 pages. Um, so you can obviously take it apart or keep it together. You can re they're not sewn in. So I've arranged them the way that I liked them, but you can rearrange these pages any way you want. There's scrapbook page. Each one has a coloring book page. Then some of them, ha most of them have my prints. This is old books. If I say it's mine and I give a name, you can search for it on my website and find it. But this is from old books. Um, there's like cardstock, book pages, coffee dyed paper. This is also from old books. I believe this kit has a lot of the, a lot of old books. There's a bag in each one. There's some stationery. This is from Light the Way. More book pages. These are vintage. Uh, floral book pages from the 60s. I believe each kit has one. The colors and the illustrations are incredible and it coordinates with the cover. This is also from old books. And then I'll just quickly show you the other side. I'm gonna go quickly because there are 12 kits, but I wanna make sure that you pick 
the kit you want. How fun would it be to, to buy two or three kits and then mix and match the pages till you have them exactly the way you want it. Um, for the ephemera, for this one, there's 20 pieces for each one. So there's a while you were out, a Scattergories, a vintage Rolodex card, a cut apart, a little uh, booklet, vintage bird book page. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna name what all these are, but doubles tags and all sorts of things. Cut aparts and die cuts, <laughs> coffee dyed. Um, things. This is a greeting card. So you can use them to decorate it. You can use them for a cover. I'm going to take you just a little longer on this first one because I'm explaining. The others I'll go through very quickly. But if this is your cover, you could put that coffee dyed doily and you could... Um, yeah, I'm just trying to look through here. You could fussy cut out that gorgeous blue bird and then you could layer you know, that flower with it and use one of these and you've got your cover. Plus plenty of other things for the inside. So that is this one. All right, I'm gonna set this off to the side. I'm glad my desk is bigger for filming than it used to be. All right, so here is the next one. This is purple themed, or purple hues, I guess I should say. So this here is this one. Here's the handkerchief, the vintage handkerchief. Here's oh, cover option one and cover option two. And then I have used, I believe it's digital curio, pixel scrapper, there's that vintage floral book page. Digital paper shop. Book pages. There's my copy dyed paper scrapbook. Card stocks. There's like a printed ledger and then the other side of all those pages. So this has a very neutral feel, very light purples and lots of ivory and beige tan colors. The um, ephemera, you get this textured wallpaper piece, this little cut apart piece, this stamped card stock, vintage book pages, prints, that's from one of my digital kits, piece of a wallpaper tag, a garden flashcard. This is a um, thick piece. I can't think of always the words, a vintage bingo card, vintage recipe. This is a little um, Rolodex card clear holder, a stamped typewriter, some die cuts, what a gorgeous, gorgeous journal this would make. I love purples. And of course, I would really suggest if you're getting a purple one that you purchase my digital or printed version of Pretty in Purple and um, Lavender and Lace. That way you can print it out and kind of incorporate. You'd have enough to make two journals using those two wallpaper covers. Okay, this one has yellow, a yellow theme to it. This is the vintage hanky. I love the colors crocheted around the edge of that. This is cover option one and cover option two. So pretty much it's yellow and blue. And then I have used antique papery. I always keep a link for her shop in my description box because she is, um, I'm on her design team, but she, before I was, I was purchasing her stuff. She's one of my favorite kits. This is mine. This is um, rustic weeds. So I think this is mostly antique papery and rusted weeds, so what I've used for the prints. There's book pages. So this has lovely, lovely florals, um, lots of purples and blues and beiges and things like that. As far as the ephemera goes, for this kit, you get a vintage floral card, uh, book page cut out, 
trying to keep from making a mess. This is a vintage um, note card. It has an eggplant on it. There's some punch out tickets and labels. These cute little characters are from Avalon Rose. There's Tim Holtz, vintage book page. There's a craft envelope. I love these envelopes. Tags, just some extra scrapbook paper, more tags, and some die cuts and a sticker. Oh, and a leaf. <laughs> so definitely can go the botanical route with this. So there is that one. This one is green. The handkerchief that comes with this has just a green edge. Very soft and pretty. Here's cover option one. And cover option two has this lovely couple. Isn't that gorgeous? So if this was the inside cover, if this was the inside cover, this would be on the front inside cover. If this was your front cover, then this would be the front of your journal. You could put an image and then on the back of your journal would be this lovely couple. And then I've used ghosted butterflies. That's mine. I've just used some backgrounds from Digital Paper Shop. This is mine. This is Sketches of Nature. And this is a freebie that is on my Facebook group. So if you haven't joined that, head over to my Facebook group. Um, but I've used a lot of backgrounds from uh, Digital Paper Shop in this one, too. And the other side to everything. And then the ephemera that you would get in this kit is this flash card. Some of the ephemera is the same from kit to kit because I was using some of my stash up. But there's ephemera pieces, note cards. This is a postcard, a little tag. Some, some stamped images. These are on a nice card stock. This is a card stock. This is a plain card. Some cut aparts. A lot you can do with it. I love this very, very simple ribbon. Many thanks to my mother in law who gave me a roll of it for my birthday. I loved it so much, I've already used it up. My next one is very vintage and floral looking. This is the handkerchief, gorgeous pinks and blues. Here's cover option one and cover option two. Coffee dyed paper, digital paper shop. And then this is my cranberry, creamy cranberry garnet. That's one of my dollar digis. So I think it's Digital Paper Shop and Creamy Cranberry Garnet for the prints. And then there's a bag, there's scrapbook paper, book pages. Um, very pink, very roses, very floral. And then the ephemera is, well, I'll try to at least give you an idea. I don't want to take forever, but I want to kind of show you what I've put together so you know which ones you want to purchase. This is a little craft file folder. There's cut aparts. There's a little booklet comes with this one. Vintage book pages. This is a double cardstock tag. There's a little journal card. This would be gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I didn't think about that, but a cover image. Oh, so pretty. I'm wanting to turn these into journals and these are uh, two vintage looking washi tape samples that you can use. I tried to make them similar, but unique. It's not the easiest task for sure. The next one is also a yellow hue. This is the hanky, very sheer with these soft little white embroidered flowers. So this would be beautiful for a pocket and you could still see what was slipped in it. Here's cover option one 
and cover option two. And then I have um, sunny days. I've used some sunny days. Lots of yellow and neutral colors. That's sunny days too. This is digital paper shop. Soft nature. Sunny days. This is my Ledger bouquets paper pack that you can get on my shop as well. This was a freebie. I'm not even sure where that is. That's something I created over a year ago that I've rediscovered in my stash. Um, vintage book page and ticket punch outs. Very similar to what is included in the other ones. Love the vintage florals that's another garden card that one has a tomato there's some stickers a tim holtz cut aparts and die cuts garden cards this is a vintage music card vintage rolodex card vintage book page journal card i made this is a sticker this is going to make a lovely vintage soft vintage floral journal these would be perfect if you're trying to start thinking about Christmas gifts, you could either give it as a gift for somebody to create a journal, or you could buy a couple kits and have what you need to um, make journals as gifts. So this one is gray and yellow. Look at this hanky. It's light yellow, and it has this brown and tan edging that is so pretty. Cover option one, cover option two. This is... Um, Sketches of Truth. This is the uh, Poetry of Trees. Those are mine. Poetry of Trees, scrapbook paper, book pages, Poetry of Trees. This one is a little more faith-based. It has multiple Bible verses in it. I believe this is the only one that has Bible verses in it. Um, I tried to kind of keep them all in one journal. So if you wanted it, you would have it, and if you didn't, it wasn't popped in there somewhere. So here's the other side to everything. This one would be a lovely faith journal. And then you get this whole um, Seven Gypsies rubble on transfer paper. A little bag, vintage book pages, so pretty. It's amazing how much stuff you can collect, how much special items. And then at some point, this is wallpaper. This is a plain, or yeah, like a little game card. At some point, you want to just have somebody else love them and enjoy them and be as excited about it as you are. That's the case with these kits for me. The next one is purple as the main inspired color. I've been working on these for a while. So here we have purple and yellow on the hanky. Cover option one, cover option two. This is from Lavender and Lace, my kit. Um, so is this. This is from Summerberries. That's mine as well. We have scrapbook papers, lavender and lace, vintage book pages, more lavender and lace. I think I've also used some from 12 Papers. It's an Etsy shop that I love. Their pages, they go so well in journals. Been using them for a few years now. This is the other side to everything. So very sweet, very purple. And the ephemera is along the same along the same lines. Just quickly go through it. This one does have a stamped fabric image that Joanne made. It's beautiful die cuts that I've picked up. This is from Digital Collage Club. It's Marie Antoinette. Oh, this is a pink envelope. Little punch out butterfly. Here's some washi samples. They're very boho themed, but the purples I thought went really well. And some tags. This would make a great gift. You have that two 
from Tag there. And then this one is gray theme. I love the ephemera that comes with this one. That sweet little boy. We'll get to the ephemera in just a second. Here is the handkerchief. It's a little bit smaller than the others, but it has this super delicate stitching on it. It does look like a machine stitching, but this is definitely vintage. Very sweet. This is cover option one and cover option two that has a sweet angel on the back. So again, if this is your inside cover, this would be here. If this is your outside cover, then this would be the back of the journal. So I've used Bellflower Stationery. That's in my shop. I think I only have it the printed version in my shop. Um, but I do need to get the digital up so you guys can get that. We have book pages. This is another one of my stationery. Yeah, I used a lot of my stationery, design stationery in this journal. And then the other side to everything. And then the ephemera. Here's an embossed piece of cardstock. This is a craft envelope. There's a little white tag, a uh, wood grain cardstock tag. This is a flash card. Vintage birds, a little butterfly cut out, leaf die cut. There's a little vintage lady. There's a little feather die cut, a stamp, another flash card. Tim Holtz boy. Joanne made this gorgeous circle cluster that I knew had to go with this set. So pretty, that would be a gorgeous cover image too. Oh, this little stamp sticker, I love those. I need to stock them in my shop so you guys can get them. And there's, oh, two more. I was gonna say one more, but oh, maybe three more. I have so many of these, you guys. This one is a yellow theme again, lots of yellow. So this is just a soft white. It has some aging, like a little bit of yellowing and aging to it too. So I think it would be gorgeous for layering up the cover. This is cover option one and then cover option two. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. So we got copy dye paper. This is from Music Blooms. It's my new digital kit. And then I've used some TLC Creates Vintage copy dyed backgrounds. Some mulberry paper. This is from my kit Multifaceted, which is about crystals and gemstones. This is from Sketches of Nature. That's my kit as well. This is Studio Denmark. Got book pages. This is the TLC from Paulette. So the other side, I've used that Music Blooms paper. So there's that one. Very bold and floral. And then this is a sheet of stickers. They're all bird feathers. An embossed cardstock, vintage book page, some ephemera, die cuts and die cuts and fun. <laughs> this is from Digital Collage Club. These are sticker labels. This is a vintage postcard. How sweet would that be on the cover? Some more die cuts, a paint chip card, a little sticker. I really tried to curate these so that they would be lovely additions to your crafting. And if it makes me want to craft with every single one of them, then hopefully I did my job. You'll have to let me know in the comments below if you like what I've done. This one is blue and yellow themed. We have a yellow edging on this hanky, cover option one and cover option two. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? This is from In My Dreams. That's one of my kits, lavender and lace. This was a freebie I had made about a year ago. Soft Nature, very delightful. Those are all mine book pages, scrapbook pages, this is in my dreams, coffee dyed paper, vintage florals, and then the other side to everything over there. And then the ephemera, we have an embossed cardstock, a wallpaper double tag, a sticker, um, 
ATC card, sticker, a reverse punch out, little note card, recipe, vintage Rolodex, vintage book pages, cut apart. This one has a little booklet, a doily, a bookmark. This is Digital Collage Club. That is Digital Collage Club as well. This is a note card. That would be gorgeous on the cover. It's got glitter on it and a Tim Holtz card. There's only one more kit and then I'll show you the supplies if you're still hanging around. <laughs> it's a long video. The last one is pink. Pink themed. And this just has a light pink vintage hanky. It obviously has some wear, but I love that. I think it would look so pretty layered up on the cover option one and cover option two. And then I've used rose gold. It's one of my digital paper packs and then um, antique papery. So I think those were the main prints in this was rose gold and antique papery. Again, check out Antique Papery on Etsy, one of my all-time favorite digitals, uh, digital shops. I think her stuff is incredible. This is one of her spreads. She is a lovely designer. Look, this has the little angel on it, so that would be really sweet with the other wallpaper if you wanted to combine. So for ephemera, we have like I said, a lot of the same stuff, but I've tried to add different bits. There's a tag and a label, some die cuts. This is from Digital Collage Club. Here's some little heart stickers, uh, cardstock tag, journal card I created. I think that might've been from Joanne. It's from a book page. Might've been just one of my scraps. I am not sure. There's a little booklet a vintage, I don't, know, I, think it, I don't know if it's vintage, but it's a book page, cut aparts, cardstock, scrapbook paper, cut apart tag. So that is all the kits, all 12 of them. I had so much fun making these and putting all that thought into them. So I'm going to try, now that I have stacked these everywhere and I can't get to the supplies, I'm going to try to just move the kits over so that I can get to my supplies. I have two sets of wallpaper ribbons. They are using all, or most, maybe not all, but all of the ones in here are shown in one of the journals. Some of the cover options, these are just... Um, 20 in each set of all these gorgeous wallpapers you just saw. So 20 in each set, um, gorgeous for adding to the journals or to your other projects. I also have a set of four vintage postcards. These are authentic vintage Audubon bird postcards. They have never been used. I bought them on eBay. I've done some projects with them and these are the last four. I wanted somebody to be able to get these. They are incredible. You can see the natural aging and patina. They're so gorgeous. I know somebody will want this set of four Audubon bird postcards. So got those. And then I have a set of vintage handkerchiefs. So here's a set of three. This one has a pink edging. And they have some wear and all of that to them. They're vintage, pink and blue and all these gorgeous colors. So you can buy this set of three. And then I have this, these I'm not selling as a set. I'm gonna sell them individually. So three different people can get them, but they're the same. Actually, there might be four, there's actually four of them. But I'm gonna sell them separately. That way, if you wanna grab all four, you absolutely can, but if you just want one, you don't have to get four of the same thing. These are so beautiful. I could not bring myself to um, use them or include them in the kit. I just knew I wanted to get them into the hands of somebody who had a beautiful vision to create with these. So this is embroidered. Isn't that gorgeous? The back is almost as pretty as the front. So um, that those, I have four of those. And then I have, these are like, twinchies they're not inches they're not inches they're two by two inches 
Um, again, the wallpaper that I've previously shown, but they're two inch squares. So I thought these would be great for making um, pocket or tuck spots, for collaging, for things like that. There's a whole stack of them and I'll, I'll count them and put the number in the listing. So you'll know how many, but I have one bag of that you can pick up. And then I have some wallpaper that comes from the same book, but they're not the same wallpapers. I have this one, Colonial Rest. There's 10 of them and the size when opened is 10 by 12. So it's um, five by 10 or I don't know, five by six, I guess. No, 10 by six, I'm sorry. So there's this one. These are all black, white, neutrals and grays. Look at how sweet that is. Oh my goodness. I want to hoard like crazy, but I know that these need to go into the hands of somebody who can use them. Now I have a lot of projects going on and I knew that this set would be really special to somebody. Um, I also have the same eight of these same wallpapers in a smaller size, five by 14. Um, and then I have Ravishing Red. There's only five of them and they are 11 by 14 when opened. So there's this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So that's all I have to share with you today. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Next up will be a marketplace video. Can't wait to share some more journals and inspiration with you. Have a lovely, lovely day.